Ever wonder what it's like living in Castle Pines, Colorado? Well, today we are going to take a special tour of one of Castle Pines' most popular new developments and neighborhoods called the Canyons. I'm Tim Cameron, realtor for Denver in the South Metro area and all the surrounding suburbs around Denver. If you need help buying or selling a home, maybe you're relocating here, or maybe you're just curious about exploring some of the wonderful communities around Colorado. Hit me up at the information below and in the description. All right, a little background and location information on the canyons. Castle Pines, the city of Castle Pines, is located about 25 minutes south of Denver, just off of the I-25 corridor. It's before you get to Castle Rock, but it's after you get past the E-470 uh, interchange and south of Lone Tree. Castle Pines is one of the most upscale communities in the south metro area. Homes ranging in values from the low 600s, to up well into the multi-million dollar range. Now we're gonna talk about the Canyons, which is a newer development on the east side of I-25 and explore some of the amenities and some of the things that make the Canyons such a unique and special place to live. All right, as you enter the community of the Canyons, you're gonna notice that this is a beautiful master plan community, very suburban feel with a lot of single family homes and some newer apartments and potentially some condominiums coming into the area in the next couple of years. Interestingly enough, in 2022, the Canyons was named as Community of the Year by the National by the Colorado Association of Home Builders. So very popular community. A lot of builders here, including Shea, Infinity Homes, TriPoint, KB, among some others. So there is a lot of variety in the builds that you will get. They do have uh, at the entrance of the community, a great clubhouse and coffee house called The Exchange. You can stop in there, grab a cup of coffee, a snack, meet with friends, family. They have um, work areas. It's also kind of a clubhouse feel. So just a very nice, welcoming clubhouse when you come into the community. Now, there are parks throughout the community as well, as well as a pool house with this beautiful outdoor lounge area and swimming pool. Driving through the canyons, you'll notice that while there's a lot of development and a lot of building going on, they've done a nice job of keeping things spread out and a lot of open space between the homes. So even if you're in a typical subdivision, you may back up to open space and there's gonna be a lot of trails, natural and paved, that you can take the dogs out for a walk, do some hiking, and you'll find that on these beautiful Colorado days, it's a great way to spend your morning out walking the trails. Some things that are close by the canyons are Hess Reservoir. Uh, there's more trails over there and a beautiful lake that you can walk around um, and just experience the beauty of nature. If you're looking for shopping, um, just outside of the canyons, you'll have the city of Castle Pines. It has a few shops and stores that you can shop at, but mainly if you're looking for a bigger shopping experience, you're gonna head down to Castle Rock, 10 minutes down I-25, or up north into Lone Tree, Centennial, or Littleton for most of your shopping needs. All right, so you've heard about the benefits of the canyons. What are any cons to living in the canyons? Well, you are gonna be part of an HOA when you move into the canyons. That does give you access to the pool and some other amenities that does contribute to the upkeep of the common areas and the trails also the parks that are spread out throughout the development so if you're not into hoas and that's a big deal breaker for you the canyons might not be the place for you also there are not a lot of affordable home options in the canyons this is a very exclusive and upscale community and while it's not gated it kind of has a gated community feel where um People coming into the neighborhood live there. Not a lot of people just driving through because there's no other access points to other areas um, around town. So if you go into the canyons, you're most likely living there or making a delivery of something. It's not a thoroughfare to another community. If you like that more quiet suburban feel, great fit for you. If you're looking for something under the $500,000 range, there's not going to be a lot of options, if any, in the canyons. Now they are building some apartment complexes on the front end of the canyon. So if you love, love the Castle Pines area and you would just like to you know, experience it for the time that you are living in Colorado, one of those apartments at the front end of the community could be a good option for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the canyons. If you are looking at buying a home in the canyons or would just like a little bit more information about the community, hit me up at the number below, call, text, or email me. Be happy to show you around, take you on a tour of some of the models. They are still building. Um, Shea models and X Infinity Homes and some others are still developing that area. So there are some new builds available as well as some resale homes. Last check, 
uh, at the filming of this video, there was 12 homes on the market within the canyons development that have already been built and are ready to be sold. These homes range from 700,000 up to 3 million. Also, like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody you know it can help.